So in this video, we're gonna dive into three very specific AI tools that you can leverage to build your business. Two of them I use every single week. I couldn't live without them. They've been huge at saving me time and just making me way more productive in my business. So I'm excited to share those two with you. I'm gonna show you how I use them in very specific ways. And if you stick with me to the end, I've got another AI tool, which is not one that I use every single week, but I've researched lots of these different tools on the marketplace. I found the best one that I think will benefit you the most, especially if you're a new business owner looking to promote your business. So stick around with me till the end to see that tool. So the first AI tool I wanna to share with you is the Fathom Note Taker. Now there's lots of different options on the marketplace, but this is one that I like the most. And there's a three month free trial. So I've been using it for months completely for free. And this is essentially like having a personal assistant sit in on your Zoom calls and essentially take notes for you. Um, it transcribes the whole call, it records the whole call, and it summarizes it and, and gives you some really good pieces of information to work with and honestly saves me a ton of time and is really helpful if I wanna share these notes or things uh, with anyone that I'm speaking to on these Zoom calls so it can be used for just general meetings, coaching calls, sales calls, consults, whatever you wanna use it for. But I'm gonna take you behind the scenes inside of my account, just so you can see some of the powerful things that this AI tool can do. All right, so we're inside the Fathom website, and this was a call that I had with one of my clients. And you can see here that you're gonna get some general notes. So it's gonna basically put things in, in a summary for you where you're gonna have a meeting purpose, key takeaways, topics, etc., and then next steps. So if you're, um, on a call with someone and you want to summarize everything you can simply go copy summary you could put that in an email or a message and then you could just fire it straight away to whoever you were speaking with and that's just going to save you a ton of time writing it all out and it just allows you to be able to come back to this call as well if you wanted to just to see everything really quickly and um, maybe pick specific things out of the call it transcribes the whole call as well so if you scroll through the call you can click on it and it's gonna take you to that specific place in the call, which is great. If we go back to Ask Fathom, you can also ask it specific questions about the call. So I could say anything I want here. Maybe I wanted to um, know what the next steps were. So what are the next steps? And then it's basically gonna scrape the call for me and it's gonna actually give me a summary of what the next steps are gonna be, okay? So Simone and Alex agreed to reconnect by 5 p.m. on Friday to ensure Simone received the materials and is on track with the next steps. I just think this is such a great tool because sometimes if you do an hour long call, maybe a 30 minute call, there's lots of things that you discuss and it's easy to misplace those things, but here you can find them really, really quickly. And then some other useful things that I think it does as well is it summarizes all the questions that you ask and then summarizes the questions that the other person on the call will ask as well. So if you're doing research calls or you're gathering information, like this is a really good way of summarizing it really quickly for you. And then you can be really present in the call. So before Fathom, I found myself taking a lot of notes, writing things down in the background. And it's hard to be really present when you're writing things down, right? But if you could just sit on the call and listen and let Fathom do all the work, Honestly, it will change the game in terms of how you run meetings and consults and calls. Now, if you did wanna check out Fathom, I'm gonna link that down below in the description. Now, the next tool we're gonna to look at is ChatGPT. Now, before you click off this video, I'm sure you've seen this tool before, but I'm gonna cover it in a different way. I'm gonna show you how I specifically use it, different to typically how people are teaching out there and how you can really make this work for you and save you a ton of time. So let's get into it. There's a lot of business owners and people that will use this when it comes to their content creation process to market their products, their businesses, their services, etc. And I don't love it for that purpose. I don't like using this software for creating content. I like using this for coming up with ideas and just speeding up the process and also helping me with coming up with the ingredients that I'm going to need to create compelling content and and, um, and great marketing. So I'll show you what I mean by that. So most people will come in here and, and they'll say, please write me a post on this specific topic. 
And typically what you're gonna get is something very generic, something that's gonna sound like everyone else, has no personality, and even with a lot of prompting, you can get it to sound relatively decent, but nothing's really gonna sound like you and your voice and your style of writing. I'm sure you could get it to do that, and with a lot of prompting you could, but I've just found it to be easier to get the ideas and then go ahead and um, make the, the post or the marketing in, in a in a tone and a voice that I would specifically use and in a format that I write in so you can clearly see it's me. So here's a, a way to use it differently. So instead of getting it to write content, use it for actually coming up with ideas to create content. Here's a good example, right? Is please make me a list of all the limiting beliefs that the following audience may have when it comes to losing weight. So women over 50 who wanna lose weight, get fit and get, um, get healthy and fit. And so what it's done for me in a, in a couple of seconds is it's given me a list of around 30 different things that are going to be the limiting beliefs that if I was marketing to this audience, I need to address. Okay. So it's not giving me the specific post, but it's giving me the specific post idea. So instead of me scratching my head, trying to come up with what do I post? What do I say? This is giving me the the starting point. And then from the, here, I can take that idea and I can write out my own piece of content, which is gonna be specific to this audience that I wanna work with. Another example, this is another prompt that I use and, and teach my, my clients to use, is please make me a list of all the objections that the following audience may have about starting um, an online health or fitness program. And so I put in the niche, and then it's basically gonna list out again all the objections that someone's gonna have that need addressing for someone to essentially join an online health and fitness program. So it doesn't matter what product or service you have, there's gonna be certain objections and limiting beliefs that your audience have about starting with it or buying it. And if you can address those in your marketing and in your content, you're gonna be really effective at marketing, right? And so this is an idea generating tool in terms of how I use it. But from there, you then go ahead and create your own unique pieces of content off the back of it. So if you're enjoying this video and you're getting some value from it, then consider subscribing to the channel to be notified of any new videos just like this one. And if you're feeling very generous, hit that like button. Now the final AI tool, and this is completely free just for this one feature, is Bookerpy. And this allows you to use AI to create a website website really, really quickly, right? So traditionally you would hire a web developer or someone to create a website for you, but literally you can create one in minutes with this tool. So you'd log in and then you click on this website AI tool here. And this is a builder where you can essentially create a website. And the thing I love about this is the speed at which it does it. And I've tested about three or four different website builders and the format at which it produces the website, I like the most with this tool, okay? And it's completely free to use because we're only using that one feature on this, on this piece of software. So you'll type in essentially um, what your business does. So I help women lose weight, get healthy and fit. Then you're just simply gonna put in your um, business name and then you're gonna go create website for free. Now what it's gonna do is it's gonna build a template for you and it's gonna generate it pretty quickly. It usually takes about 30 seconds to do this. So we're gonna let it do its thing and then we're gonna dive in and we're gonna do a couple of edits. All right, so it's done. Uh, took about 30 seconds for it to do it. And this is by no means a finished article, but you can see that we have a template here that we can work with. So we have um, at the top, we have an about section we have some bits of information here. We have a client testimonial section, an FAQ section, which I think is, is really good. And this is like a, a location map and then a, a CTA and then links to, to socials. So again, it's not a finished article, but I'll show you how easy it is to just edit this. So if we come into intro, you can see here that we can just come in here, change the text and we're good to go, right? We'll come in here. Maybe we don't like this image. We can go change image. It's got a bunch of images in here already that you can use. So you don't have to go find them from a third party. You could just type in um, women and happy. And then it's gonna give you a bunch of images here that you can use. So let's just take this one. And we're editing really, really quickly here. So the, the crazy thing about this is you don't need to be very technical. 
you saw how easy it was for me to change that text and add an image. And you'd simply just go through this website, you'd polish it up. And then because you've put in who you want to work with and what your business does, it's templated out specific things that you then just have to come in and, and, and edit. And this is really where I think AI is useful, is it does a lot of the thinking and heavy lifting for you. I see AI as a great tool for saving time, becoming more productive, and, and also really just helping you move quickly because there's a million different things you have to do in a business, but if you can leverage AI in very smart and effective ways, you're gonna get more done in less time, and as a byproduct, you're gonna make much more progress.